just taken everything out of the packages and the number one problem I found so far, and this happened with my last order that was all bathing suits, everything smells like cigarette smoke. So wash everything as soon as you get it. Now I have to like basically wash this rug because it's gonna smell like cigarette smoke. But the other issue that I realize is like some of these things don't come with instructions and they don't quite make sense. Um, the sizing really doesn't make sense. This is a size medium top and I didn't order a size medium skirt. I ordered a size small because last time I ordered a skirt in medium, it was like falling off of me. And this holding it up to myself looks like it's gonna be too small. The, I don't know what you wanna call them, titty pockets in these dresses. These are size medium dresses. They're a little big for me on the bottom and I have a feeling that my boobs are not gonna fit in here. And I don't expect my giant stupid fake boobs to fit in everything, but these boob cups or whatever you wanna call them, are the same size as stuff that comes in a size small. So they don't change the cup size at all, whether you are small, medium, or large. So be aware of that, but what the hell do you want for like 16 bucks? These tops did not come with directions and I'm not really sure how this one goes on. I know how this one and this one goes on. This one's kind of self-explanatory, but I don't even know what the hell that is now. Um, so yeah, I am gonna pair some of these items with like shorts that I already have or jeans that I have or shoes, accessories, things like that. But for the most part, it'll be things that I purchased from this order after I wash it. Ugh. Example of inconsistent sizing. So this is a size medium top. This is a size medium top. So, I mean, these kind of go together, but not really. Like, see, this is where this medium ends. This is where this medium ends, this top. What the hell? Okay, now let's take these two mediums over to the weird boob pocket dress and see how that shit lines up. So, yeah, seam to seam. This medium is even bigger than this medium. And is this medium somewhere in the middle? Because the seams don't line up. See, this is even less wide, but then the pocket is like, of course, adjustable. So, okay, this doesn't make any sense. This looks like small, medium, and large, but it's like, this is all medium. Like, no, and it all stinks. So I'm gonna wash it, dry it, of course, and then I will try things on, but I'm just letting you know ahead of time if you plan on purchasing something from here, you're gonna have to have like a flexible sort of body type because some of these things stretch and some of them don't. I decided to start this try on haul with a thing that I figured was going to be the worst thing I bought and it's actually kind of cute, I'm digging it. I really like this cute little sexy slit in it. And of course, you know, if you're not standing like that, you can't really see it unless you're walking and it's pretty conservative overall. It's really cute, flowy, fits pretty well. However, of course, because I have ridiculous breast implants, the little pocket thing for your boob that it's supposed to sit in is like microscopic compared to my breast implant. So if you have like normal sized boobs, it'll probably fit you great. Has these really cute, sexy little straps that you can tie and untie to readjust. Zips from the side. Um, it's cute in the back, like nothing really to like, you know, go gaga over, but it's cute and it's flowy and summery and it's lightweight. So that's really nice and very soft. Um, the other thing is like for my particular measurements, if I were to like pull on the back, you can see that it makes it a little bit more slimming, but from the side I feel is where you really would notice the difference. If I were to have it taken in, you could see a little bit more of my, my curve. Otherwise it's just kind of baggy between my back and my butt. And I feel like that's kind of matronly, not so cute. But overall, I think that it's a good fit. It's really comfy. It's actually probably really nice for like traveling on a plane or something just because it's easy and it's flowy. Like when you travel, you want something that's just like comfy. This is comfy. You can wear it with like a jean jacket as it gets cooler, that kind of thing. Maybe a hat if you're out in the sun, but I think overall it fits really well as I'm like trying to readjust my boobs to make sure they're in here properly. But overall, I think it, it fits really well. Oh, and I paired it with a pair of Steve Madden sandals. So these, I believe, are called the Chantel. So close enough to my name, but not quite. Um, but they have like a pearl detail along with some bigger like rhinestones. So I wanted to pick things that I could layer and I could dress up or dress down. So this is the dressed up version of this t-shirt dress. It has naturally like a little knot on it. And so I got this really cute belt to go with it. The belt was just like a couple of bucks. And this hat, I got at Aldo at one of their like going out of business sales. It was like 20 bucks. And I'm wearing rainbows because, well, I'm an orange county girl. I love rainbows. So I think this is really cute. It's stylish, but comfy. This is again, something great for traveling in. You can throw this on over your bathing suit as like a beach cover up, whatever you want. So let's see what it looks like dressed down. 
and it's really plain, you know? Like there's, there's nothing all that spectacular about it by itself, but it is cute, it's comfy. I mean, you can wear this to bed if you wanted, I guess. This is whatever, but I feel like dressing it up a little bit with like the belt and the hat. I don't know, I feel like that just kind of like completed the look. This is definitely just like basic bitch, I'm gonna throw my hair up in a messy bun, messy bun and like go grocery shopping, I don't give a fuck. But when you put on that cute little belt and hat combo, that's like, I'm cute and I'm going somewhere, hi. <laughs> I don't know, I, I know that sounds like so Valley Girl or so dumb, but I just feel like when you spruce up a plain outfit, you feel so much better about yourself. Your personality shines more the more that you feel comfortable and you feel confident. Feeling comfortable and feeling bummy doesn't necessarily equal confidence. Like you have the confidence to go out in public looking like hot garbage, but you don't have that confidence of like, I'm comfy and I'm cute. So that's just my take on it though. All right, let's see what else I got. <laughs> I'm usually not one for wearing really bright colors, but this is actually kind of cute. I don't play golf, I don't play tennis, but I don't mind looking like I do. This is really cute. And this is flowy and comfy. Um, so this is small. I actually figured the small, looking at it when I pulled it out of the bag, was gonna be way too small for me, but there's actually a little bit of space in here. So I feel a lot better about myself right about now, to be honest with you. But the top is a size medium, and I think I already tore it, trying to make sure that it would fit over my boobs. Uh, I wore a bra under it, so that probably doesn't help either, but this is not the kind of top you can go without a bra, because you can definitely see through it. I think that if you live in a really warm climate or somewhere where it gets really hot, um, this would be really good for you. Like where I live, our highest temperature last year was 124. Don't get me started. And um, you know, when it's really hot out, you want stuff that's gonna be lightweight. This is lightweight. I think it's a cotton polyester blend. Usually when something has polyester in it, it's very heavy in weight and very thick and itchy. This isn't, it's really soft and feels really lightweight. I hope that you can't see through this. I don't, I don't think you can. But it's really cute. Uh, you can see through the top, so I probably would recommend a different top. And this being a medium top does not fit like a medium, especially in comparison to the other things that I showed you at the beginning, where I'm like, this is a medium, but this is a medium, but this is a medium. It made no sense. This doesn't either. But it's really cute. I paired it with a pair of Puma tennis shoes. Um, I don't know the name of this particular style, but um, I had a pair like this when I was in high school, and I found them at the Puma outlet. Had to get them. So I think that it's perfect for this outfit. It's really cute, it's comfy, it's kind of sexy, and um, for lack of a better term, I feel like it's, it's very youthful. So I may not be dressing appropriately for my age, but fuck it, if I can pull it off, I'm gonna pull it off. So for the cooler days of spring and summer, it's always good to have a light colored pair of jeans that are a little distressed, because it's kind of like built in air conditioning in case it does get a little hot. You're not wearing shorts, but you're not exactly wearing pants either, right? So I love these. These are from H&M, actually. They fit really well. I bought these a while back. I think I had told you guys about them before. The top is from Sheen, Shine, however you want to pronounce it. And this bralette is as well. It does have matching panties. If you want to see the set on me, be sure to check out my OnlyFans. But if you actually are interested in purchasing the set for yourself, I think it was $11 on Sheen or Shine. I bought it a while ago. This top, I think, was 8 bucks when I bought it this go around. This is a size small. And according to the measurements on their website, it was supposed to fit. And it does fit but there's like a little bit of a gap between the top and my bra and I think it would have been that way even if I had sized up and ordered a medium. So that's why I was like, oh, well I should probably wear like a cute bra or bralette that has a little bit of something going on, like lace or something. And I was like, this together to me just kind of reminds me of the old guest ads that were in black and white in the 90s with like Claudia Schiffer and uh, Anna Nicole Smith. So that's why I was like, it's cute with jeans and then heels. I can always dress this down and wear flats, but for this particular look with like sunglasses and everything, I was like, yep, yeah, this is like 90s guess ad. But that's just me. I love the way this looks. It's really comfy, it's cute. These jeans are great. They're definitely stretchy because I'm not exactly a small person. So I don't know, I think that they fit great. I think it looks great with this top. It's different. You could also pair this with shorts, maybe a pencil skirt, but I decided to go with jeans today. I honestly have no idea where I would ever wear this, but it's really cute, it's really comfy, and to me it kind of reminds me of Esther Williams in Million Dollar Mermaid meets Carmen Miranda. If you don't know who they are, go look them up. Super badass women from like back in the day. But the fit is actually great. This one I believe is a size medium because I want to make sure that the top would fit and it's a two-piece set. 
Um, the only thing that's kind of weird about the top though to me is like this isn't adjustable so it would be great if it was so I could hold my girls in place better. But it's, it still fits really well. Um, it's pretty flattering and definitely is flattering on the butt because the scrunching or ruching definitely like accentuates the curvature of your butt. So I think that that's great. Um, I don't know, I think overall it's, it's a pretty good fit. I might have this tailored so that it just fits a little bit better. It probably cost me a few bucks, no big deal. Now granted, this is more of like a beigey gold and my shoes are kind of a rose gold. So maybe if I were to find shoes that were more of a nude color or clear, I think that that would probably work better. But just for, you know, example's sake, I wanted to put some cute shoes on and see how it would look. Oh, my earrings are from Forever 21. I think I wear these in another try and haul for Forever 21 actually, but they were like super cheap. I think they were like 10 bucks. So this outfit was, I believe, the most expensive thing that I purchased. I think it was 20 bucks or 22 bucks. So it's still not bad, but it, it fits great. It's comfy, it's stretchy. I can dance in it, I can move in it, I can walk in it. It's, it's not like one of those scrunchy, ruched dresses where you're walking like a penguin, so that's great. But I think overall it's flattering, it's a great fit, it's comfy. No idea where the hell I'm gonna wear it, but if, uh, if nothing else, I can just wear it around the house and feel sexy. So this is a very casual, but also very sexy outfit. Um, this wrap top was $7. I bought other ones that are very similar for like five bucks. I wanted to try different colors. This is a size small. It's basically just a really long, thick piece of fabric that you tie in a bow. So the back is thick enough to where if you were to tie it as a strapless top and like have it go through your strapless bra and all that other, you could wear a strapless bra with this and it would be hidden just fine. But I don't own a strapless bra, so I'm not trying that. If you want to like learn how to do that, plenty of uh, how-to videos on TikTok and YouTube, so check that out. But as far as wearing it as a wrap, wearing it as a wrap top goes, it's perfectly fine. I'm safe, I'm secure, I'm not going anywhere. Sorry guys. Uh, the shorts were like 15 bucks at the Montebello Mall. I have no idea what store they were from, but they were just like cheapy little shorts that I found at random, and I really like them. Uh, my shoes, I bought in downtown LA, fuck, like five or six years ago. They were uh, five bucks. So sometimes the cheapest shit that you buy like lasts you the longest, so you never really can tell, but this uh, wrap top was actually made really well. I love this burnt orange color. I don't know what it is, but in like the last year, I've been in love with this color. I think it's really pretty. And when you have a tan, it looks great. I'm uh, really pale right now, so I might have to spend my evening putting self-tanner on. But I think overall, this is a great top. And I don't really feel like I need to show you guys the other wrap tops because they're very similar. But just know that you can find really cute, cheap wrap tops for like five to nine dollars on Sheen. Oh, one other thing I was gonna do with this was I wanted to kind of like put something else with it to accessorize. So I think I might try a hat. I kind of feel like if I wore this with like some cute little ankle boots, this is like a Coachella outfit. I, all I need is one of those like flowy bandana belts, right? Or one of those like lacy shawl things, and I can spin around in circles like Stevie Nicks. This is kind of a Coachella-ish outfit. So although we don't get Coachella this year, we didn't get it last year, maybe hopefully we'll get it next year. But yeah, this is definitely something to keep in mind if this is still in fashion by the time Coachella is allowed to happen again. But I don't know, this is really comfy and cute. So give it a try. Well, since I started this try-on haul with the sundress that I doubted, I figured that I would end it with the same sundress, but in red. So I'm really digging this. Uh, the difference between this one and the other one with these straps, the front strap is longer than the back strap and there isn't a side zip, it is actually a back zip. This still, I think, um, I might wanna have taken in for the waist just so that it's a little bit more form-fitting and flattering, not so boxy, but overall, very lightweight, very flowy, sexy, comfy. Um, you can dress it up or dress it down. I dressed the other one down with flats, so I dressed this one up with some heels, but I definitely think it's cute, flowy, and worth the 16 bucks. So if you are a bitch on a budget and you want some cute, stylish shit for spring and summer, be sure to check out Shane.